Hello everyone, Wise Guy here, and this is episode 6 of my logistic pipe tutorial. Uh, we've gone over all the pipes and all the modules now, so I want to show you some practical setups. Um, I went ahead and started up a new flat world, just so we can have a clean area to work with. And today I want to talk about the first thing most people set up, which is going to be a basic sorting and storage system. So you're going to need a few things for this. Uh, for your basic storage system, you're going to need provider modules one for every chest that you plan on having in your storage area. You're also going to need one for the actual sorting chest itself. You're going to need polymorphic item sinks, and again, you're going to need one for every single chest in your sorting system. Uh, you do not need one for the sorting chest. You will need an item sink module, which I forgot to give myself. You will need a quick sort module, some basic logistic pipes to connect your network, a chassis mark 2 logistic pipe for every chest in your system, a chassis mark 3 for your sorting chest itself, and a request pipe. And this is basically just so you can get your items back out afterwards without having to open every single chest. Um, you'll also of course need some chests. I'm using diamond chests from the iron chest mod, but you can use wooden, iron, whatever you like. And then I'm going to be using an ender chest with an ender pouch for my sorting system, and I recommend you do the same, and I'll show you why. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just show you the sorting chest. So I'm going to place down my ender chest first, and the reason I'm doing an ender chest, guys, is this way I can access it anywhere in the world to clear out my inventory with the ender pouch. So when I open this up, you can see over here that the ender chest opens as well. In any dimension, any world, I can use this ender pouch, put items in here, and I'll get sorted through my system. Now, in here, I want to make sure I put a logistic chassis mark three pipe, because this will allow me to put three modules into the area. Now, we're going to need a quick sort, which is going to pull the items out. We're going to need an item sink. With default route, yes. This basically means if there's nothing in our storage, it will get put back into the sorting machine. And then we're going to need a provider module. This provider module can be left on the default normal setting. Okay. So there's no real order here, guys. I just always put whatever's pulling out of the machine out of the bottom for some reason. Um, and then providers are also pulling out, so I put that below the item sink. But it's just um, a habit that I have, and it's not important on which order you have. So we're going to want to link this to our storage area. And I'm going to show you a few setups that are compact and will help you save some resources. And uh, hopefully it will help you out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple of pipes here. And this will lead to my, my storage area. Now for storage setups, there's a setup that I'm doing currently that I like a lot. Um, and it's something that I believe was actually on the original wiki page uh, for 1.2.5 logistic pipes, which isn't the fork that I'm on, um, fork being the setup that I'm on currently for uh, the GitHub page. So basically, you're going to alternate chests, and um, I'm going to need some dirt here, or cobble, so I can place my chests on top of here. But I'm basically just going to get a stack of uh, chests on top of each other here. So you can just kind of do this, and this. And let me go ahead and set this up, guys, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Alright guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I made a quick little storage room with my diamond chest. Um, you can do this with double chests as well, but you'll need a second space here to place the second wooden chest if you don't have the iron chest mod installed. And this is going to give you a very uh, compact area for your Mark II chassis pipe, so you don't have to worry about um, everything linking together. So we can place one here, and you'll see it links that way. We'll place one here, it links to the left, links to the right. And we can just keep placing them all the way along here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this real quick, and I know I'm not putting modules in, guys. Um, I'm not going to bore you by putting a module in every single one, but I'll put the module in on these last uh, three chests on the edge here. So as you can see, guys, I just got um, however many chests this was. Let's see, that's three, six, nine, eighteen chests. So eighteen chests with eighteen um, chassis pipes that very very compact tight space. I mean this takes up a 3 by th um, 3x5 area. So very small area and all you have to do is just link this to a basic logistic pipe and then I'm gonna put in my chassis my modules and my chassis. So for this chest here we're gonna put in the provider 
and the polymorphic. And I'm going to go ahead and say leave uh, one item per stack. And basically, again, guys, that's just going to say any items that are in here, we're going to go ahead and put um, one item of that stack in there before we send the rest of the request. So one thing I shouldn't have done, guys, is I put that little spacer right here and I wasn't able to open the chest. So you want to make sure you put whatever items you want in your chest first, and then you can place your spacer down on top of it if you want to. Um, you can always leave that open too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. But uh, we'll go ahead and place in here um, some provider modules just because I have them. And we'll place in this one some polymorphic item sinks. So let me put in the chassis pipe for this. Provider. Polymorphic. One item per stack. And this one here doesn't have anything, so let's take these out. It's a little easier to reach this one. So we'll put this in here. We're going to put the provider with one item per stack and the polymorphic. So we can take that right here. Okay, so in here we have providers, and here we have polymorphic item sinks, and here we have cobble. So in our ender chest, I'm going to go ahead and put in a provider module. Now the quick sort will pull it out of here, and it'll send it to the chest that it belongs to. You can see it ended up right here, now we have two of them. Now in my ender chest I can put in some polymorphic item sinks, and let's put some diamond chests in. Now we'll see the polymorphic item sinks go, and they're here. But the diamond chests, if you know, are still here. And the reason for that is we didn't set any chest up with a polymorphic item sink to have chests in them. And if you need some more information on that, guys, please check out episode 4, uh, which covered modules. I believe in that one I did talk about this just a little bit. It could have been episode 3 or 4. They were a two-part series on modules, and the polymorphic, again, will call items that are already in its inventory to that chest. So guys, I hope this helps you. A very uh, compact way to get your storage setup done. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do a couple other setups that I've done as well that look a little bit better than this. Um, this is something that maybe you would hide in a wall. Uh, something like this. Maybe a wall of obsidian or um, because you're using an ender chest and you want to use maybe the inventory system connector pipes or something, you can go ahead and put this in a um, separate dimension even so people don't access your stuff if you're on a multiplayer server. So it's just a couple ideas that you uh, you might have. Something like this, and that way you don't have to ever look at that area. You can see it really does not take up much space, guys. Now, the only other thing that I would do is I would put a little request pipe down here, maybe. And that way I can pull my items out without actually having to open up that area there. Now, I can't see anything here because I did take everything out of the chest. But um, we can go ahead and put some items in here. They will not be sorted because I took out the items that are in the inventory. But we can see here in my request pipe, I can now grab all of those items. I'll go ahead and grab the full stack. So guys, again, I hope this was a, a little bit of a tip to you. Um, obviously, it's not too aesthetically appeasing, as I mentioned, but um, it is something that works and works well. You can hide all these pipes underground if you'd like. You can place covers on here with facades, I mean. Uh, covers are red power too, but facades will attach to these pipes. And that'll help clean up everything a little bit more for you. And it's just a really cheap, efficient way to uh, get everything in the most compact space possible. I don't know much more compact space than that. Um, it's just a very neat setup in that sense. So guys, I'll go ahead and jump on the server now that I play on and I'll show you the setup that I'm using, which I think is a little bit cooler looking. Um, it's still a work in progress. I'm using some dirt and cobble to place things out, but um, I think it'll be very cool afterwards. So let me go ahead and hop over there. It'll be just one moment. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm just going to take a minute to show the uh, progress that I've made on my area here. Um, I haven't done too much, but I did um, start laying down some inner walls here on what I think I'm going to be putting out. Material's going to change, but um, I set up an assembly table. Um, I set up a lava tank from Railcraft with uh, some thermal expansion items over there to make some more cobblestone and smooth stone. I'm probably going to use that in my build. I set up my thumb room uh, completely. i got these little golems now that are awesome. I got some of my water jars up, my alembrics and things like that in here. So uh, I got my brain in the jar, my infernal furnace with the uh, extra bellows. I got my arcane door to protect the area. No one can go into there. And um, basically, I wanted to show you my storage area because that's what we're doing in this video. So what I did is I um, just kind of blocked out in dirt. I'm going to do a double floor so I can have a ceiling of one look and then the floor and the next level will be a different look. Um, this will be a two-story structure. 
And inside, I have a ender chest, just like I showed in my system, with a request pipe on it. And um, underneath that is my chassis pipe that's actually all the sorting. And all the pipes go all the way through to that system over there that gets processed. You'll probably see some items get sent through these pipes here. There goes some right there. There goes some stone. Uh, some other items will go through here too. And basically behind every single chest, I have my chassis pipes. And they connect up to that level as well. And then in the corners here, I just have basic logistic pipes. And then I put my other chassis over there. And on this corner here, um, I was saving a little bit of space, so I put a chassis pipe connected to two chests, but I only put the orange tick towards one of them. So I know some people are asking if you can uh, deposit into two barrels or two chests or something at once, and you can't. But basically, uh, these are all legit items. I made all of this with my diamonds, and um, as you can see, I just have a lot of storage area here. And then on my second floor, I have a lot of storage area up here as well. And um, you can see I do a lot with logistic pipes, guys. So, you know, I have a lot of exposed wire right now and things like that, but I'll be covering that all up. Um, all these up here as well are processing everything. I don't think I'm going to be leaving that all exposed in the end either, guys. But uh, I did want to show you my setup. Um, just kind of gives you an idea of something that can look a little bit more aesthetically appeasing. Um, I'm probably going to cover up all these pipes with facades with whatever material I choose. I just haven't made them with my assembly table because I don't want to make facades I won't be using as often. Um, I want to make sure I choose my material first. And uh, you can see that, you know, just again, kind of a tight setup, but it looks a little bit nicer than the other setup I showed you. It does use uh, a little bit more material with the basic logistic pipes, where before all you needed was the chassis pipes to connect your system. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I do have some other stuff in here I'll probably talk about in a later episode. Um, I have a second ender chest down here with a second ender bag, and that's actually my new request system. Because this is my sorting chest, if I request items here with my wrench, it'll get sorted right back into my system. And that's kind of a way for anyone that's in here trying to get items that shouldn't be getting items from me. Um, they can go ahead and have their items get sent right into that ender chest and back into my network, where I have a separate ender chest and bag personalized to me um, that I actually request items through. And again, I'll show you guys that in, an in a future episode. Um, it has to do with a remote orderer, though, and uh, the remote order pipe, which I believe I showed in the first or second part of the pipe overview. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I have so far. I'm on a pretty cool island. Um, I might be doing a server Let's Play. Uh, it just kind of depends. I play with some friends that I know from real life, and I need to make sure that they're okay with me filming all the time, too. So... Hopefully you guys like the setup, and um, as this gets developed more, I'll definitely show you every once in a while in my videos. So until next time, guys, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, please leave comments and feedbacks. If you have any questions about the storage system or any other pipes, definitely let me know, and I'll help out as best as I can. Thank you guys, and I hope you had a great time.